It's time now for GMA Medical Mondays. Most of us think of summertime as a season of fun and relaxation, but summer is also known as trauma season, a stretch when the number of accidental injuries and deaths spike, landing kids across the country in the emergency room. Here with some tips for summer injury prevention is Medical Director of Kids Rehab, Dr. Lisa Thornton. Thanks and good morning. Thanks, good morning. Let's start with teenagers and driving while drunk. Frankly, this is a year-round problem, but it really spikes during the summer. What can we do? It does. First, we have to say that teenagers should not be d drinking at all, obviously. Um, so parents need to open the dialogue about that. But if teens are drinking and driving, the first thing, of course, is to get a designated driver. Do not drive when you've been drinking. <clears throat> the other thing is to be sure that you take the keys if you have a friend who has been driving and they can find another way home. Absolutely. Now what about summer vacations, time for road trips, being on the road for long periods of times, and Lord knows I've heard, Mommy, the seatbelt is hurting my neck. This is a hidden danger, isn't it? It is. And the temptation is to take the kids out of their car seats or their seatbelts and let them be free in the car for a little while so they can stretch their legs there. But that is exactly the wrong thing to do. We never plan for accidents to happen. That's why we have the seatbelts on all the time. But what people should do is when they're planning those long vacations, plan for the for the rest stops mm, good and idea. then you know that you're going to get a chance to stretch your legs get the blood circulating and the kids can look forward to that but keep them belted in in the car a little less whining not entirely <laughs> <laughs> now this weekend the kids and i went on not one but two bike trips and we all wore our helmets we all know helmets are good, good. but how do you ensure that kids wear them all the time well juju you know what you have to do is make sure that that they get in the habit of it mm. when they're very young put the helmet on be sure that that's just what you do it's part of the culture of your family you're doing the right thing by leading by example. If the parents wear them, the kids are more likely to wear them. And then you want to be sure you have a proper fit of those helmets too so they do the right job. You can go to your local sporting goods store and they can help you get your helmet fitted. There are different sizes because I've had my two-year-old complain that the neck strap's not right and the head strap's not right. It really is sized per age group, right? That's right. So you need to age up. As your child gets older, they'll need a different helmet. We also spent a lot of time poolside this weekend, as I'm sure a lot of Americans did. And I get lulled into a false sense of security. My six-year-old's a strong swimmer. People are barbecuing. It's busy. It's easy to turn your back for a few minutes. It is. And I've seen terrible tragedies in this regard. I, I had an eight-year-old child who was swimming in their backyard pool. The dad was very close by washing the windows. His back was turned. He realized it was very silent, turned around, his daughter was at the bottom of the pool. That's what's frightening, is that it's it can be terrible. silent. It is almost always silent. It's not like in the movies where people splash around and yell, help. So you want to always keep your eyes on your children when they're in the water. That's num the number one safety tip. Also, be sure that they are learn to swim. Summertime's a great time to learn to swim. And always, if you're doing water activities, have a life jacket on those kids. Good idea. What about trampolines? They are definitely kit kid magnets, but they're also injury magnets. 93,000 injuries in one year on trampolines. In fact, so dangerous that the Academy, American Academy of Pediatrics and SafeKids.org have recommended that people do not own these things in their backyards, that these should be only used in recreation centers. But we know people do own them, so in order to improve safety, make sure there's only one person on them at a time, get the net around them, it really can reduce the injuries. Great, Dr. Thornton, lots of great advice for the summertime season. Thank you so much, Juju. Thanks for being here. Also, could you last, could you last without one morning of coffee? How about a whole year? Meet the family who's stirring